assembled media. David, just the way they were making it difficult early, kind of keeping you guys to the outside, did it feel like one of those games where it was going to take some, some dirty goals and good net front presence like you guys had? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that game kind of felt like the the other two against Bemidji and, and Ferris where they just they do a good job defending and defend hard. So, you know, we were trying to learn from, from those mistakes and, uh, you know, made sure we got to that hard and, and it paid off, paid off for us tonight. Um, between last night and tonight, the coach uh, singled out Akito's play, and certainly he showed it on the rink. He probably didn't need to be you know, pointed out necessarily. But what are you seeing out of him as a teammate, whether it's every day in practice or what you've seen over the last couple of weeks from his play, how he's upped his game, and maybe what's changed between you know now and, and earlier in the in the season? You know, he's, he's just putting the work. He's an unbelievable guy, unbelievable teammate, and I mean, he shows up every day with whether things are going good for him or, or going bad for him. He shows up, puts the work in, and it's nice to see him get rewarded because. Uh, you know, he works hard, and, you know, some guys don't see it behind the scenes, but we definitely do every day. So super happy for him that he's, he's playing well right now. Shots and chances in the first period weighed heavily in your favor, um, and then Lake State opens the second period with a pretty early goal. How are you guys as a team able to sort of manage your composure and, you know, not get super deflated and then ultimately tie it later in the second? I think that's something we've definitely come back in the second half a, a lot better. We've matured that way. I think in the first half, they would score first and we get a little rattled and get off our game. But I mean, this might be the four or five games that, that they've scored first and we've kept our cool and, and found a way to come back. So happy we're turning in that direction. Just in, in the league this year, you know, in point percentage now, I'm pretty sure you guys are first and, and, and they're last, but it just feels like the parity is just so apparent throughout. Do, do you agree? I mean, just the way they, they worked and, and just made it difficult on you guys all weekend and, and on the road. Yeah, that's the great thing about the CCHA. Um, you know, everyone has a chance to win every night, no matter if you're, you're top or bottom. Uh, you know, we kind of saw that uh, a lot this weekend with different teams playing each other. And um, it's great. It's playoff hockey. It's it's a bunch of a bunch of men going at it. So uh, it makes you tougher and, and definitely a, a fun way to play hockey. You can you just kind of mention this again? Maybe see if you can get a little more detailed as far as the you know these games being similar to the Bemidji and Ferris games and the difference between losing those games at home and winning these games at home. Um, you talked about being you know keeping your cool, keeping your composure, being more mature. Are there other details that come to mind that uh, you know really make the difference between? You know, losing those games and winning this one? Just, yeah, like I kind of said earlier, just sticking with it. I think that's a big one for us. Um, you know, work, working together, we don't have uh, – we have four solid lines that when we're all gone, we're, we're a good team to beat, and um, we can't have, you know, a, a line take a night off, and that's what we're learning. So it, it's fun, you know, working together, and um, it's great because we can push each other, and I think that's the biggest difference is the positivity on the bench and each other. We're really, you know, happy for each other's success, and – um, that's big right now with our success. I had asked Casey this earlier, but I wanted to get a p uh, player's perspective too. Obviously, coming into the season without Dryden McKay, there was a lot of question marks surrounding goaltending. And earlier in the season, we were able to see Tracy, and now Rancier. And now these past few weeks, it seemed like Rancier has really been able to step up and solidify his spot. Um, maybe just give a perspective of what you've seen from him that sort of helped establish his spot yeah he's battled um you know super proud of him again uh you know he works hard behind the scenes he's at the rink every day and he he puts his work in and and gets better and i think um i do want to single out uh mason wheeler too i think he's stepped up in, in blocking shots which helps Keena, but Keena's done an unbelievable job of just making sure we're calm back there and i think that starts with him and, and carries us out out front he's a big reason why we're successful right now too I don't want to keep harping on this, but if, you know, in terms of some of that maturity that comes, is some of that just kind of develop, you know, going through players, finding new spots from either last year or because of injuries this year, are you guys just getting a little bit more comfortable too in your roles and it maybe took a little longer than you wanted to, to kind of feel that comfort level? Yeah, I think you kind of kind of hit it there with, you know, we started to find our identity early on this season, then hit with some injuries and, and struggled a little bit to, to find that. And now I think we are finding it uh, individually and, and as a team. You know, we have different lines doing different things, stepping up different nights, and um, that's what you need for, to be a successful hockey team. So, Any other questions for David? Thanks, David. All right, thank you.